Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. It's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing some random figures. We got some epic dinosaur action. We got some My Little Ponies. We got some Smurfs. We got some Mario. We got some... Video game action figures. You know me, you know. I collect everything nowadays. I even collect bootlegs, which I got like at least three bootleg action figures, which looks pretty cool. And once it gets to a minute, we're going to look at everything we have. We even got some 1980s My Little Pony in here as well. An awesome random figure review, if I do say so myself. And now it's been a minute, we're going to look at each and every figure. We'll start with this dino here, because he is a big one. You shake him and his head moves, his legs move, his tail moves, and his arms move. His mouth can open and close, which is nice. Not a bad little dinosaur. I don't know, I might keep this guy, or might just sell him. Somewhere down the line. I'll have to see. But he's still pretty cool. Next on the list, we got this little dino right here. And it's a little baby dino. I don't know much about these, but it's definitely a little kid's line. And I got this for free, so I didn't pay a dime for this. Which is still pretty cool. I love some dinosaurs in my dinosaur collection. Articulation, his feet can move and stuff, his head can move, no mouth movement because it's a simple little toy. Why not? And there I say, why not? And that's all there is to say for that. Next on the list, we got this big MLP. As you know, I've been collecting these for a while and I have a little collection going on for this. This one this has one. no articulation. I think it's more of a display piece than anything else. And it's really well painted, really well sculpted. I'll give it a good thumbs up in the case. Next on the list, we got this little knight guy. I'll probably throw him in my Lord of the Rings display. He looks pretty cool. Another knight guy to go in Lord of the Rings display. You know, then leave me a comment on what line these guys come from. But these are really old figures. I don't know a lot about them. For sure. Next, we got this little pirate dude. And he'll probably just go on my random shelf or my horror movie shelf with my Pirates of the Caribbean Flying Dutchman. But this guy reminds me of Blackbeard. But yeah, articulation... He can sit down, legs can move, not very well, arms can move somewhat, head does not move. So a simple little pirate figure. Next we got this little wrestling figure. Yeah, I think he's a wrestling figure. Doesn't have any articulation, but he still looks pretty cool. If I do say so myself. Next, we got this scuba diver guy bootleg. He's got like a spear gun. He'd go like swim, 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 and then shoot the harpoon, which is pretty cool. I do like this guy, and I do collect some bootleg action figures here on my channel. Next, we got this Mario turtle guy. I don't know what they're called, but it's still cool. I have another one of these guys to go with my Mario collection. Next, we got another video game action figure. It's a Roblox, and this guy gives me off an Assassin's Creed kind of vibe. Probably why I liked him so much when I found him. Definitely looking forward to adding him to my Roblox collection. He's just so cool. And yeah. Next on the list, we got this little figure. I think it's like a little Barbie or something. But he has the have much articulation, but she's still a little cutie. But she'll probably go on my random figure shelf because she's cool looking. 
Next on the list, we got some Smurfs. You know me, I, I love collecting some Smurf action figures. We got Artie Smurf. We got Smurfette. So these will probably go on my Smurf shelf. Go on my random shelf because I love the Smurfs. I grew up with the Smurfs on the Boomerang as a kid. Boomerang by Cartoon Network. So good when I find some stuff. And next, we got some more 1980s MLP action. Articulation, heads do move. Not much. Because these are 1980s. So I definitely am going to be adding these to my MLP collection. Next, we got this little knight dude with a horse. Probably add him to my Helm's Deep display. And look at that. He's really well sculpted and painted. I love this figure. Definitely going to go on my shelf. For sure. With my Lord of the Rings. He's just too cool. We got another Mario character. This is the Boo. And I got another Boo figure. I think I already have this one. But I don't mind owning the second. If I find more of these. I'll probably have a little Boo army. For my Bowser's army. Next we got this little Fox kid. He's pretty cool. Probably go on my Dungeons and Dragons collection. He is just so cute. That's all there is to say for him. For sure. Next, we got another Spongebob item. I do pick these up. It's Patrick. And he's like a a bit of a blocky Patrick. So, it's still cool. I picked him up because I like Patrick from Spongebob. Next on the list, we got some Angry Birds piggies. We got the King Piggy and the regular Piggy. Definitely going to go on my video game collection. They are a lot of fun. For sure. Next, we got another bootleg. This is a bootleg soldier. And look at that. He's got a big gun. He's like, take this. Pew, 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 pew. With the machine chin gun. Or go, ah. That's my machine gun noise. So I do collect some bootlegs. Because bootlegs are awesome. Next, this figure is going on my random shelf. This is the Monkey King from Kim Possible. So I got me a Kim Possible figure. Yep, I love collecting some stuff from my childhood, and Kim Possible was one of those shows I watched as a kid. I love this guy. He is amazing. Definitely glad I picked him up. Gonna put him on the random shelf for sure. Next, we got this guy. I don't know if he is a bootleg, because there's no telling what he is. So he's definitely got to be a bootleg guy. If you know who this guy is, then please leave me a comment. I don't know who he is, but he is still pretty cool. He's got, got silver armor, which makes him pretty cool. Now we're down to the last four figures. For sure. Next, we got this little... Diecast car. I don't know what it's from. It's made by Hot Wheels. And it rolls very well. Which is still cool. I love that. Next we got some more dinosaurs here. We got a Triceratops and Stegosaurus. Yep, I got some more dinos for my Jurassic Park collection. And now we're down to the last item. This huge Imagine X. Jurassic World Dinosaur! And this figure is all dropping amazing. To show you what he does, I'm going to have to turn him on. If I can find the switch for this thing. Might have to just flip him up until I find the switch. Where is that power switch? But he's supposed to light up. The power switch is a in a really difficult place to find it. Where is that power switch? Ah, oh, he's so big and fussy. I might just. Ah, oh, he's so big and fussy. I might just as well show him what he does without the power on him. His mouth opens, these goggles, and these eye things go up, which is kind of cool. And these buttons right here. Articulation, he's got some articulation in the legs and the arms. Other than that, not a lot of articulation. Is this a good figure if you love dinosaur action figures? Yes, 
This is an awesome figure. I don't think I'll have the room to keep them for very long, but I'll keep them for as long as I'm able to. Have to find a place to put them. But other than that, he's a cool looking figure. If you love Jurassic Park and Jurassic World, then these figures are worth the money. And I got this figure for free, so I didn't pay a dime for this. And this has been Eddie Hill's review of random action figures. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Move it on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.